Grab hold of your future, young man. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to The Thin Silence, a game about mental health, suicide, depression. I think we've all been there at one point, honestly. So I'm looking forward to the uh, the journey of this little fellow. His name is Ezra. And he's uh, gonna find his way out of the darkness, as we all need to do from time to time. You know, we, we all have these moments in our lives, and... Uh, to make such a drastic choice as suicide is never a good idea. Don't do that. A 2pm game. Well, thank you, 2pm games, for bringing awareness to uh, something that is a bit hard to talk about, to be completely honest. It's something that is often swept under the rug less and less nowadays, which I suppose is a good thing. Published by Nick... Nickadoo? Nickadoo! But yeah. I decided to cover it largely because I have found myself in that hole before. I have not been in it recently, but um, it's it's always just a step away, you know? It's really your own choice whether you want to step into the light or head down into the darkness even further. So I'm trying to move my character. It's not really working. I guess he's just going to do his own thing. That's fine. There's some light there. Just just step into it. It's not that hard. Sometimes it can be. If you want me to be completely honest. The thin silence. Welcome, my son. Let us see what awaits you on your journey through depression. I figure there will be a lot of puzzling and things like that. Murmurs in part one. Hmm, that's not much of a jump now, is it? <laughs> a little hop, skip, and a jump, eh? I can't believe I survived that fall. Oh, it's like a mental fall, you know what I'm saying? My leg seems to be getting better. Yeah, now you can walk. Hey! There's something. Alright, let's jump over there. Nope, nope. Gotta wait for it. There seems to be something shining on the ground over there. I would like to go have a look, if it pleases. X. What is it? New item. Boot. An old boot. Military. Standard issue. Can I wear it? On my head? Like Vermin Supreme? Maha! <laughs> oh my. So this is kind of one of those uh, ne Netflix games, as far as I could tell. The story lasts about four to five hours, and yeah, you basically kick back and are largely just being told a story. It's so dark out here. I don't know how you stand it. You're always welcome to come home. We miss you. Sorry, Dad. I'm being an edgy teenager. We're, we're so proud of you. Your mom and I, we were always proud of you. Sometimes I, I know I'm tough on you, but that's only so you can stand up to the adversities of the world. But sometimes uh, it doesn't help somebody stand up. Sometimes you just crush them even lower by trying to help them stand taller. Irony. Why don't I feel like that anymore? You can. You can. I believe in you. You just got your first item. This is the item menu. Items can be equipped and created here. Hey, I can put my boots on. Items are built up out of three components which you can select. Let's try creating a simple item using the work boots you just picked up. Okay, let's. Well, this is not very intuitive. There it is. Okay, so you have to uh, select the arrow and then click around left or right the same way you turn it. I was trying to do up and down. But yeah, I guess that works. Pick component. Boot. We've crafted the simplest item. The boot. Boot your ass. A to use your item. Yep. It's uh, a little kick. Wait. Oh my god. Ezra, come on. I know you're depressed, but you can you can do better than that, can't you? Come on, man. 
Well, I'm glad we stopped by there. Let's kick this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're rocking. <laughs> I guess I gotta wait. Go. Cool. That worked nicely, didn't it? Alright, let us continue on, I do suppose. Is this a ladder? Can I go up the ladder? I guess not. I guess not. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Dare you jump? Lest you, lest you may fall to your death? Ezra don't care. Ouch. Lucky that wasn't any higher. They're like, hey, beware. There's falling damage in this game. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'm trapped. Hold B to reset the level. Okay. Whoa. I think he committed suicide in the game about suicide. That ain't cool. Alright, let's kick this boulder then. I guess we're not going that way. I'm trapped again. Well, dang. That's not cool. What you doing? What you doing? Why you doing this? Flat. Alright then. I'm gonna go over this way now. I got stuff to do, you know. I gotta go in the creepy cave. Kick. Kick some more. Yes, puzzling much as I suspected. Oh. Look at that there. But so far, uh, yeah. Just kicking with my little booty. Maybe we'll find something here. What's this glowing thing? Book entry, the blank slate. The first chapter, Dr. Shavi Manta's book. I don't know that guy. Maybe I'll sit and read it. You wanna? I mean, we could. Sure, enjoy yourself. This is an unusual document because it does not exist. But, but I found it. It's the outcome and proof of a horrific reality. Indeed, each page will come separately and slowly so that the truth might reach you before it can be distorted by lies. Our society is ill, sick and dying, and if nothing is done, we shall die with it. Hmm. He risked so much to share this. Did he get burned for heresy? Heresy, I say! It was, I wasn't brave like that. That's why your dad wasn't proud of you, because he like, didn't join the military, something like that? Fight for your country? I wasn't brave at all. You can be brave. Brave is a noun. That's a good song. Andrew Jackson Jihad, if you're into that folk punk. That's like depressive music too, but it'll pick you up, at least. I don't remember climbing down this far. We rarely do, friend. It's more of a fall than a climb. Press start to open the menu and read notes. Okay. I might. Can I kick this? Whoa! That's the thing, isn't it? Go, rock, go! Oh. That didn't work. It's kind of like that uh, Rock of Ages game. Anybody remember that? Oh, no. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Maybe it was. Maybe everything's going just fine. Maybe self-doubt is uh, still one of my weaknesses. Dr. Mantha, what are you doing here? You need to talk about what happened. Doctor, I'm in a cave of my own depression. I'm not going to talk to you. No. We're not going to talk about what happened. I'm going to figure this out all on my own. Which, if you need some help with suicide or depression, don't don't be ashamed to ask for help. There's that noise again. The thin silence, you see. Hmm. Rushing through every fiber of my being. Flat. Hey, look at that go. Look at that go. Where's it going? What you doing? I thought it was going to break that thing. Oh, it just uh, spun the generator up. That's pretty good. Spun up the Gen A. I just named it the most beautiful name I could think of. Gen A. 
I was surprised Forrest Gump didn't have depression. Some shit happened to that boy. But you know what? He didn't get down on himself. He's just like, I'm not a very smart man. That's okay. I still know what love is. <sighs> but some of us don't find love as easily. I think it starts with loving oneself before somebody else can really uh be everything that you want them to be because they've got something that they want you to be as well. It's a two-way street. You know what I'm saying? Already this game is making me uh think some things. I think that's the purpose of it. Oh, Rock got stopped. I think I need the rock to get up here, though. So we will do just that. Super. Super duper. Neato. Right on, gang. And this one as well. Oh, fart. Oh, God. We're fine. No reset yet. Don't worry, kids. Go over there. Oh, that didn't, uh, that didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. But I think I need to kick this rock to the right, so I should go back. Go back to the future! Get me up there. Yeah! This character's jump is so funny, dude. I don't really understand. But hey, it ain't my game. Alright, here we go. Blam. Do a thing. Start up the generator. Okay. It's working nicely. Come down here. You just have to kick it. Kick it when it's down. I need you. I need you. More than anything. Lift me up. My young Padawan. Steed. Thing. Mobob. Alright, I feel like we're making progress. I think things are going pretty good. Oh, here's another thing. What's this? Another boot? New item, hook. Hmm. A box of earrings? No. Hooks. It's a tackle box. All different sizes. The big ones are scary. The littlest are exactly like earrings. We flash them back. Flashback, there's my mom. She loved those. Might be my mom. Might be my girlfriend. Might be both. <gasps> That's the scariest part of this game. I miss her. We don't know who it is yet. Maybe I could craft up an item or something. What's this? I think I'm supposed to hook it. Hook it. Hook it real good. Hmm. How about hook? Yeah, just just make the hook, I guess. That's fine. Hey, now we could climb just a little bit. That's good news. That's always good news. I don't think I can climb these things. Oh, but I can hook these things. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I guess it works. Sure, why not? Grab hold of your future, young man. Hey, here's another thing right here. Entry 2, Purpose. Someone left a copy of Dr. Chevy's second chapter. I don't know if I want to read all these again. You must, because I have not read them yet. Hey, hey, hey. I thought we was doing a thing. I want to see the... The notes menu. There it is. Book. Notes. Hmm. Why this strange prologue? Every word you read here will be refuted. Refused. Rebuked and rebutted. Once word of it reaches the ever-present government ear. Indeed, each page will come separately and slowly so the truth might reach you before it can be distorted by lies. 10,000 copies of this page will be spread in secret and in shame. When those have been decried, 10,000 of the next page will be released. Anguish will seize our nation because of this message of hope. 
This contradiction is due to a single claim, stated clearly here so that all can know my purpose. Our society's ill, sick and dying, and if nothing is done, we shall die with it. I think that bears repeating. What is, uh, part two? Why should I write this? I don't exaggerate by saying that even reading it, you're risking your safety and security. What motive is there for such poisonous accusations? First and foremost, it is out of duty. I pledge to consecrate my life to the service of humanity, to act with conscience and dignity and the utmost respect, making others my first consideration. I cannot deny these oaths when it becomes inexpedient to obey them. I am compelled to speak out and denounce injustice where it exists on such a systemic scale. If I shy from hard truths, I am not a hero but a monster, because I will lead you to your death. There's some. There's another reason, though. Credibility. Some claims carry great weight of evidence, others only great weight of conviction. I'm honest here so that you can know that I shall be honest elsewhere also as a man with nothing to lose. I write these things in no unclear terms so that you cannot doubt my veracity. These words earned me a state funeral. Well, he says he's being clear, but he's not quite being clear enough, now is he? I suppose that's well enough. We must keep some mysteries. And it does a good job at uh, making me want to play the game a bit further. We climb this gate. You can also create items out of more than one component. Try using the boot and the hook. Okay, sure. Here's the hook. Here's the boot. Climbing boots. There are lots of combinations of two or three components. Make sure to try them all. Dang, look at that. It's like them, them gates in Super Mario. Y'all remember that? Hell yeah, you do. Left button, right button to quickly change items. Okay. Bring me over here, daddy. That'll do. And then, uh, climb. Right? I know what I'm doing. I'm making some moves. Hey! Hey! This is getting more exciting all the time, isn't it? Alright, where's my climbing boots? Here we go. Up and up. I want to find yet another chapter. Find this, uh, this shrink of mine. All the words that he has written for the lonely 10,000 of us that are apparently under his his tutelage, I guess I'll call it. Let's check up here. Hello? I do like games where there's like no enemies, you know? A lot of people take a crap on walking simulators and the like. But I rather enjoy it. Hey, there's... There's something over there. Fine. Climb and let us grab this thing. Yes. Virtue of Virtual. How do we proceed? We have our suspicion. How do we investigate? Corruption of deepest kind has seeped into our world. Indeed. What we valued most deeply, we traded for a sense of security and a freedom from responsibility. Like all of our amendments. Hmm. But if it was ever the right path, it is no longer. Let's see a bit more about that. How do we proceed, etc., etc. I've committed to each page of thought that stands alone, so even when scattered in the wind, they might still give hope and guidance to the people scattered with them. Diagnoses are made on the basis of what we're told, what we see, investigations in our contemplations. In sociology and politics, we should do the same. After all, Virchow tells us that politics is nothing but medicine at a larger scale. Look at our government, what it says and what it does, how it spends its wealth, and how we in our hearts regard it. By words, action, money, and thought, we can diagnose this sickness in our culture. And when we look to our leaders, what do we see? A list of crimes so numerous and varied, all unquestionably immoral and some devastatingly grotesque. Corruption of the deepest kind seeped into our world. We were afraid, and in our fear we sold ourselves. What we valued most deeply, we traded for a sense of security and a freedom from responsibility. Now we see the exploitation we suffered, for which we are guilty. We created, nourished, and sustained it. Perhaps it was even the right path, but if it ever was, it is no longer. Good lord. The writing in this game is just superb. I really, really, um, yeah. I'm not sure if I have the same 
thought process as the creators and such in what they're talking about. But this game is uh, exceedingly well timed from what I can s from what I can see about it, what I can tell. What's this? Sometimes it helps to take a look into the distance. Okay. You can hold the camera button and use the movement keys to look around. While well, I'm using a controller. Try the right joystick. Oh, thank you, game. Quite helpful. Right stick to look. Alright, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm cooking good looking. I'm over this. I'm over that. I'm some more. Feeling fat. Alright, let's uh, kick this thing and see what happens. Not much. Super. Super duper. Neato. Hmm. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. Get me over. I might have to reset. That'll make me sad. Kick. It don't work. It don't work. Well, I'm not sure what's supposed to happen here. Oh. I break my shins. That's what happens. That's one way to reset it. <laughs> I mean, obviously they're telling me, yeah, look in the distance and things like this. So, uh, what should I be assuming here? Oh, that seemed to work okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh god! Please don't kill me. Oh. How could this happen? How could this happen? Even in the depths of my depression, I still want to live. Can't you see? This game is really, really interesting. I like it a lot. Um, what holds it together for me the most is definitely the writing. It is just uh, top tier. And yeah, has a lot of statements about the current state of our society, which uh, I think most people would be able to agree with, unless, you know, you're completely blind to something. Which some people are. Can't deny that. But not gamers! Gamers got it down, bro. Aside from, you know, making fun of people who worship sports ball. But then they, uh... Oh, god damn it. Alright, this is the last puzzle I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, you can't make fun of sports ball and then turn around and be like, video games are so much better. Because they're both kind of a waste of your time and energy, aren't they? Let's be honest with each other. But one is at least uh, a bit more mentally stimulating. That's what I love the most about video games. You just uh, get to thinking. Get to thinking a little bit. Alright, let's climb over here. And we'll give this last one a kick, and then I should probably go up the gate and climb down like a fucking human being. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Since if I take the leap, that's it. That's it! It's over for me! I do wish there was a, a way to walk a little bit faster, but it does give you time to digest what you've read about the corruption in our society. We need a cure for wellness, that's what we need. If everybody dies, we have no problems anymore. Super duper. Well, I guess uh, this served a purpose. Maybe I couldn't have climbed up these rocks without, uh, without the boulder sitting on top of the steps. Alright. I'll assume that, that that went just perfectly. <laughs> oh. I really do want to find the next page, though. This game's got me curious now. Got me all hooked in. Running around all nimbly bimbly. Hey, Paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. It's Captain Lou Albano. Don't do drugs, or you go to hell before you die. Alright, lock this thing over here so I can uh, get on through. Get on out! Get on up! Climb the gate. I suppose we have to start this generator up. That makes good sense to me. Hmm. I'll need this hook and boots. 
and kick. Do it. Make it happen, Captain. All right. Lift the gate. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if I need that other boulder, but I suppose we'll find out relatively shortly. So yeah. Um, I realize that this game is not meant for some people. My wife definitely would not enjoy this at all. Ezra, we need to talk. You need to face it. How you got here? I ain't gonna. Go away. I'm not gonna think about that. There's a thing in his past. We're not we're not gonna talk about it right now. But eventually we will. It's gonna be a big reveal. It's making that noise. Your brain, dude. It's all in your mind, man. So yeah, like I said, some people definitely won't enjoy this game. My wife likes more uh, action-oriented stuff, but if you enjoy good storytelling in games, piecing it all together before the game can reveal to you what is actually uh, meant to be happening, I mean, it did kind of ruin it. It's about depression and stuff, but how will it resolve itself? I guess you'll have to wait and see. Or request that I do uh, another series. That could that could do just fine as well. Now we're just chilling, chilling in the caverns. But yeah, if this game looks good to you, you should check it out on Steam. It is releasing quite shortly, and uh, it's tasty. It's really really tasty. Mostly the writing and the atmosphere is what gets me. If you're looking for action, definitely uh, look someplace else. But if you're looking for a really good story, some supreme writing, and uh, something really intriguing that just kind of drags you along like a, a mystery novel or, or something like that would, then uh, definitely check out The Thin Silence. I'm going to end it here, friends. Let me know if you'd like to see some more. I would be happy to oblige. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this episode. That is always, always appreciated. We've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of those, I would be eternally grateful. Once again, friends, this has been The Thin Silence. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you on the next one, friends. And until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.